Meeting an old classmate, we had not seen each other for about 30 years. The Lord has been kind to me. When I saw him again, this time at a hotel lobby, he was looking simple. He wore simple clothes. I felt touched. He walked up to me and was glad to see me again. But deep within me, I was not impressed with his status compared to mine and poor me. I couldn't hide it. We exchanged contact details and I could see the joy in him as he collected mine. I told him I will drop him home in my brand new Range Rover and I pointed it to him. He declined and said he had already called for his car. It looked old, a 2001 Honda Accord. I invited him the next day for lunch at my house. A part of me wanted to impress him, to show off my success and affluence to him, while another was to discuss opportunities and possibly help him. He drove to Parkview where I live. He looked impressed with my home. I had taken a heavy mortgage. In fact, I was heavily in debt. We had lunch. He told me he was into small business and particularly real estate. I brought up more business discussions, but he didn't sound too interested. I asked him how I could help him. He said he was fine. I even told him if he was interested, I could help him secure some loans. He looked at me and smiled. He told me he would invite me over soon to his place. His old car came for him. I was grateful to God for what I had. Fingers are not all equal, I thought to myself. I was lucky. I worked in a good place. Two weeks later, we went to see him in a remote, my wife and I. She was reluctant to go because she was not impressed with the man's status as to warrant our visiting him in his house. I was able to convince her that we were close friends in college. We saw the estate. We asked for directions to his home. Those leading us spoke his name with deference. It was a simple but lovely home, a four-bedroom bungalow. I saw four cars parked in front. We entered his home. It was simply elegant with a touch of class inside. He welcomed us warmly. Lunch was well served. His wife called him babe, honey, papa. During lunch, he asked about my MD. He said they were friends. I saw a company gift on one of his tables nearby. That company owned about 38% shares where I worked. I inquired from him about it. He smiled. He told me he owned the company. He also owned the estate. Underscore I did not know when I called him sir. I was in awe of him too. I had learned a lesson in humility, a big one. Appearances are deceptive. He noticed my discomfort. Driving back home, I was very quiet. My wife was humbled and extremely calm. I could perceive the thoughts in her mind. I looked at myself. Living on loans, heavy loans, and showing off while someone who pays my salary is quite modest and living a simple life. Indeed, deeper rivers flow in majestic silence. Adjust your perception towards others this year.